Hey guys, um, I'm going to try something a little bit different today. Uh, rather than just writing out an assignment guideline, I'm going to record you a video. Um, my son has broken his arm. Say hi, Auden. Hi. So, unfortunately, I can't really be there today. Uh, but this gives us an opportunity to address a couple of issues that I've seen in the past couple of uh, weeks. I'm still getting papers from you that are just terrible. And... I'm not afraid to say it. Simply awful. Wretched. So, what I want to do instead right now is instead of uh, assigning you some type of, you know, thing to do where you're writing for a, sp a particular prompt, I'm going to give you the buffet of literary topics like we went over last week. And um, rather than writing a paper this time, I want you to write an outline. Now, I guarantee that most of you out there just rolled your eyes, and that's okay. We'll get through this together, I promise. But my definition of an outline is very, very loose. The main thing I'm going to be looking for in this outline, and yes, I'm going to grade this like it's a paper. So if you write me a good outline, I'll give you points for it. But an outline needs to give me an idea of what the topic is, and what the paragraphs will consist of. Um, I don't want to say it needs a thesis statement because I don't want to be that square, but at the same time, we probably need to dial it back a little bit and start thinking about what our opinions of these texts are. And a lot of you guys are having trouble choosing texts. So this is the primary thing I want you to do today, is to give me an outline of a potential paper. This takes some of the pressure off of it because rather than um, crunching out a full paper, you're just giving me some basic details and what the uh, the structure will look like. If you want to go on Galileo and try to get some uh, research to sort of inject into this, that works too. If you want to add supplementary information alongside the outline, give me a couple of sample paragraphs or write out what your thought process is, that's fine too. Oh, Lucy. Look at me, Lucy. Say hi, Lucy. Say hi. Lucy. <laughs> anyway. Chunk, 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 chunk. <laughs> yeah. So, um, <laughs> just to recap the different options you have for papers. You can do a literary flaw, which is when you find some type of problem in a literary text. Uh, this would include Shylock as an identifiable villain, a jump to shark chow. moment, plot holes of various types, uh, <laughs> flawed characters. I'm so glad you're having... You're not feeding Lucy chocolate, are you? I can make her very sick. Okay. So plot holes, any type of thing that you see that could be wrong with the text that you can talk about in detail. Um, we also have character analysis. Choose a character from... A uh, play, a movie, a short story, and talk Not about that character's chocolate. value. What? Oh, hold on. There you go. It's hard to pick cereal up off the floor when your arm's broken. Here, I'll put it in your mouth directly. Good, good. So. Chomp, 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 chomp. Chomp, chomp. Now, <laughs> so, where chomp, was I? Chomp, chomp, chomp. Character. That's really not that different from actually teaching my class. Um, chomp, chomp. What is the value of a character? Um, what does the character add to the story? What are some insights we can get from a particular character? Um, all of that's good to go. Again, that, that we, I hate to keep harping on Shylock and Merchant of Venice, but I mean, you see why a discussion of Shylock is so important. What is the uh, main character in Araby? What is his um, motivations? Is he creepy? You know, any time that you're looking at a character in detail. Um, we also have uh, any of the applications of the literary theories we've talked about so far. Do you pretend to be a Marxist? And look at, this would be a good one, look at um, small good thing from a Marxist perspective. Just think about that for a minute. That story has some very odd Marxist ideas in the fact that, I mean, the baker is kind of like a... I mean, he's he's not pro. Well, I guess he is kind of proletarian in a sense. But think about the family that they run into, right? In the in the hospital, there's some really easy inlets to talk about Marxist concepts, as well as existentialism, as well as feminism, 
as well as you know masculinity issues and these men's rights things we've been talking about. So application of theory is good to go as well. Um, so those are three general options for papers. And remember, I want you to kind of move around a little bit uh, so that if you've written one, I want you to try something different this time. Um, maybe you want to do something that's more of a reader response. Maybe you want to do a historical analysis. Those are always fun, at least to me. So that's the assignment for today. Outline, give me some general information, okay? Give me a plan for your next paper. And like I said, I'll give you some points that actually equal a paper for this assignment because I think we just need to pour some more effort into the planning of these things. So I think that's it for me. Um, say goodbye, on. Goodbye, chomp chomp. Oh, uh, Lucy. Say goodbye. Lucy. Say write better. Boo woo. Write better papers. Your papers are terrible. Okay. So. Okay, all right, all right. Chomp, chomp. Chomp, chomp. Thank you, guys.